Welcome to the Mantis Bible Study 4 video series. This is the Analyze Verse video. We're going to be analyzing John 1 uh, verse 5. To uh, analyze any verse, all you need to do is tap on the verse number. In this case, we're going to tap on the 5 and uh, choose Analyze a Verse from the pop-up menu. And here we have uh, four options down at the bottom, Compare, Commentary, Define, and My Notes. Right now we are comparing versions. These hide and show buttons are sticky, which means if, if I toggle, a, uh, let's say I want to toggle the New King James and the Message, and I want to compare what those say compared to the King James Version, uh, those uh, buttons will stay open, or these versions will stay open, even if I close the program and come back or go to analyze a different verse, so that uh, you can set things up the way you like it and it defaults to that, to that way. So right now we've got the King James up here, and I can scroll down and uh, read it, uh, read the verse in the New King James, and I can read it in the message. And any combination here, you can have as many of these open or closed as you like. And only the versions, of course, that you have installed uh, will will show up in this screen. Uh, the uh, uh, commentary is the next section down at the bottom and again you can open and close different commentaries uh, right here I have four commentaries loaded the Adam Clark John MacArthur J Vernon McGee and the treasure of scripture knowledge so let's say I wanted to look to see what John MacArthur had to say about this verse I can uh, I can uh, click on show and open that up uh, here's the J Vernon McGee for this uh, for this verse and uh, Treasure of Scripture Knowledge uh, has tons and tons of Bible references and any reference in any of the commentaries uh, that mention Scripture uh, will show up in a clickable blue link in this case the Treasure of Scripture Knowledge has a bunch of cross references so I can tap on the, the verse reference and preview the verse without actually going there which is very nice and I can have more than one open at a time uh, if I tap the verse again I can close it so it makes it very handy for previewing a number of verses uh, until you find exactly what you're looking for. If you tap on the KJV link here, it will uh, you'll jump to, to Proverbs 122 in the King James Version of the Bible. And the King James Version is showing here because that is our currently selected Bible. It's going to match what what we were reading before up here but let's say if, if I was reading in the message or in the New American Standard um, that's what will show up here and that was that's also where all the verses will be previewed so let me go ahead and close those the uh, next option is define and you can show and hide um, uh, any Bible dictionaries that you have installed. In this case we have the Easton's Bible Dictionary and the ISBE International Standard Bible Encyclopedia both loaded and to look up a, a word you just tap on the word in the verse. In this case we're going to look up the word darkness so it shows here that we're defining the word darkness and here's the entry from the Easton's Bible Dictionary. Again I can preview verses uh, just by tapping them uh, and I can open and close them. I'm going to hide the Easton's and I noticed that the ISBE didn't have an entry just for the word darkness but it had a um, cross-reference that said see also dark darkness and so I can open and close that cross-reference as well. Sometimes you'll see cross-reference links uh, in the in the dictionaries and you're able to open and, and view those. And again you can scroll and read the whole uh, the whole article if you like as much as long as it may be. The uh, last option down at the bottom is My Notes. Once you've analyzed the verse and you want to take your own personal notes, just tap to begin editing your notes. This is my personal note. And that note, uh, when you click Done and Done, will be saved back, uh, back with the Bible. And so your note will always be there later. And one other thing I wanted to show you, if you're in Analyze Verse, uh, you can analyze the next verse by using the next uh, verse button. Here we, we're in John 1 7, John 1 8, and then of course you can go back a verse, John 1 7, John 1 6. And then tapping right here will bring up the book chapter verse chooser. So if I wanted to say analyze uh, Genesis 1 1, I could go Genesis 1 1 and bring up the verse analysis for any verse in the Bible pretty quickly. And uh, clicking the back button takes you to whatever you have selected right here, in this case, Genesis 1-1. This has been Analyze Verse for Mantis Bible Study 4.